Hi class, this is Coach RJ. Welcome to our module three, which is marketing research for principles of marketing. Okay, so by the end of this session or this lesson, we would be able to define what marketing research is, uh, explain the importance of marketing research and identify the steps in marketing research. Just like what we have mentioned or I have mentioned before, Marketing research is pretty much uh, parang the same siya doon sa research na uh, tinake up nyo from Mam Tubay's lesson. Okay, however, uh, the, the only difference in this marketing research is we would be able to see kung ano ba yung difference nito from the other research na pinag-aralan ninyo. Okay, so based from the word itself pa lang, uh, marketing research. Okay, this is mostly focused on the marketing perspective okay, of a business or even a non-profit organization. Okay? Let's jump into our first objective, which is defining what marketing research is. Okay? Marketing research is the process of collecting and analyzing data to address a specific marketing problem. Okay? Just like what I mentioned earlier, that when we talk about uh, marketing research, Okay, meron tayong tinatry na isolve ng marketing problem. Okay, so ano ba yung mga uh, concern? Okay, ano ba mga concern ng isang marketing research? Okay, so it can be concerned with the different aspects of the market. Okay, including yung ating products, uh, even our sales. Okay, pwede din natin siyang i-marketing research. Yung buyer behavior natin, di ba naalala nyo that we talked about what a buyer behavior is, di ba? Uh, anong season bumibili sila consumers or customers? Saan mas madami ang sales? Kailan mas madami ang sales, di ba? Even our promotion, uh, which promotion is effective? Ma effective ba kapag gumamit tayo ng uh, artist talaga sa pagpopromote ng products and services natin? Uh, even the cell phones, Diba? Do we really need artists to endorse cell phones nowadays? Eh, diba? Tayo naman, what we are uh, what we are actually looking for cell phone, lalo na data, is yung specs niya. Diba? Gaano yung uh, relationship ng sales doon sa endorsers, diba? Ng mga gadgets. Okay? You also have distribution. Uh, how do we make our products readily available to our target market? Uh, pag Pwede rin natin i-marketing research yung tungkol sa ating pricing and event packaging. Gano ba ka-effective ang pagpapalit or pag-innovate ng isang package for sales, di ba? So, many companies have used marketing research to decide whether to launch a product. So, pag ilo-launch ba natin yung product, okay? Uh, may mga may marketing research tayo na ginagawa. So, yung marketing research na yan, it helps us to uh, decide kung kailangan ba nating i-launch yung bagong product natin or should we just introduce a variant of product? Baka naman uh, kailangan lang natin magkaroon ng uh, different variant ng products natin. So, dati kung puro plain lang, baka kailangan natin mag-offer ng uh, flavor, di ba? para maka-reach tayo ng wider customer base. Or we can also reinvent the brand. Okay? Kung yung, yung perception ng clients natin sa atin. Okay? Gusto ba nating i-reposition yung self natin sa mga clients natin? Ibig sabihin, kung dati, uh, para lang tayo sa, sa mga boys, do we need to reinvent our brand and make it like for everybody? Diba? Not only for boys, but also for women or for uh, for for uh, girls and gals, yeah, and girls, guys, and even yung uh, ating mga LGBT, yan, diba? and so on. The role of marketing research is to not make marketing decisions, but rather help reduce risks in decision making. Okay, so sabi natin, diba? Uh, ang marketing kasi we, we also have risks when we are making decisions. So yung mga yung marketing research, ito yung nakakatulong sa atin to reduce the risk na sinasabi natin. Okay? So the big question is class, what is the importance of marketing research? So in this lesson, we are going to talk about three 
importance of marketing research. So get your pens and papers na class. So the first one is that it can contribute to the success of different marketing activities. Okay? So because of marketing research, makakatulong yan sa success ng iba't ibang marketing activities natin. Uh, let me give you guys an example. Uh, pag nag uh, when we conduct marketing research before introducing a product to the market, okay, pag nag marketing research muna tayo bago natin ipakilala ang isang product sa ating target market, uh, this would actually help us identify, number one, yung demographics ng target market natin, yung kanilang age, yung kanilang gender, yung kanilang geographic location, di ba? Even sa lifestyle nila, and even buyer behavior. Okay, more of that class, pag-uusapan natin sa uh, module 4, market segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Okay, so, pag syempre ng marketing research din tayo, this would also help us determine the probability of success ng product na i-introduce natin sa target market natin. Okay, so, makikita, makikita natin dito sa market research based on data kung katanggap-tanggap ba sa target market natin yung products and service natin na gusto natin i-offer sa kanila. And then, the next one is that uh, we would be able to think of alternative courses of action. So, paano kung uh, hindi pala mababa ang probability of success kapag nag-introduce tayo ng products or service natin dito sa uh, target market natin ito? So, because of this marketing research, this helps us marketers avoid potential loss. And kapag may mga issues na pwedeng mag-occur, pwede natin siyang ma-iron out. Okay? Then, the next one class is that marketing research can help update marketers regarding the competitors' activities and strategies through comparative studies. Okay? So, syempre, hindi lang naman natin uh, titingnan yung ating mga target market but also we would take a look at our competitors. So paano yan natin gagawin through comparative studies. So the results of the research will enable them to devise ways to improve their competitive advantage. Yung result ng data natin, ng research natin makakatulong sa atin para makaisip tayo ng mga strategies natin para ma-improve natin yung ating edge against sa ating mga competitors. Okay. The third one class is that it can also help us determine aspects of the business that is needed to be changed or even upgraded. Okay. So, hindi lang target market, hindi lang yung competitors natin. So, syempre, uh, makakatulong din sa atin yung marketing research so that we would be able to see what is needed to be improved in our products or services. So, it may even indicate the need for an organization to improve our marketing strategies, uh, update our products or services, and review our business plan. It can also help us identify opportunities and new areas for expansion. Yan, yung marketing research. Diba? Kita nyo kung gano'ng ka-importante yung marketing research sa atin. Uh, let me give you an example. You guys are familiar with Lego, right? Yes, it's it's normally a toys a toy for boys. So, yung Lego in a company study na create siya ng study, it revealed that only nine percent of the current active Lego households have females as primary users of the toy. So nine percent lang, class <laughs> nine percent lang. Okay, nine percent lang pala. Uh, mga female users sa Lego nung nag-conduct sila ng marketing research. So, ang ginawa ng Lego because of that is that they conducted a four-year global research with 3,500 girls and their mothers to find out what would make them more interested in playing with Lego products. So, nag-conduct sila ng marketing research uh, na meron silang 3,500 respondents na girls together with their moms and para malaman nila kung paano ba magiging interested yung mga moms o yung mga baby na girl para maglaro ng Lego products. 
So based on the resu results of its research, Lego launched Lego Friends in 2012 as an answer to target market's preferences. So because of that, di ba? Kung dati, um, pang boys lang sila, nag-conduct sila ng marketing research na meron silang respondents sa mall girls para ma-identify nila kung ano ba yung magiging, uh, paano ba magiging interested yung mga young girls para maglaro din ng Lego. Kaya si Lego, nung after nung study nila, nakatanggal yung data nila, nag-come up sila ng isang, nag-come up sila ng bagong product or ng variant ng product ng Lego na Lego friends. So, hindi lang sa pang boys but also pang girls din. Diba? So, we have another one. You guys are familiar with Apple, right? So, tech giant Apple has a marketing research arm. Apple Customer Pulse. Okay, yan ganda ng pangalan. Apple Customer Pulse. Diba? Parang, diba? Pag pulso, lagi yan tumitibok. Diba? Okay? So, which they, they conduct online surveys about Apple products. So, yung data na generate, na generate nila from the surveys have been helpful in creating products and modifying existing designs. So, sometimes, yung mga businesses, they, they actually have a marketing research team. Okay? So, sila yung responsible para mag-gather ng mga data kung ano ba yung mga data na kailangan natin para, once again, makapag-innovate tayo ng mga products and services natin. So, just to recap, importance of marketing research. Uh, it can contribute to the success of our different marketing activities. It can help us update regarding our competitors' activities and strategies. And uh, we can also enable this to devise ways on how we would be improving our competitive advantage. And it would also help us determine okay, the aspects of business that is needed to be changed and upgraded. And then the last one is we because of a marketing research it would also help us identify opportunities and new areas for expansion okay now let's take a look at the marketing research process okay nalaman na natin kung ano ba yung marketing research and ano ba yung importansya nito no ng marketing research so ano ba yung mga process ng marketing research so we have five steps so of course in any research the first thing that we need to know is to state our objective then determine which research methodology are we going to use, gather our data, interpret the results, and then present the results. First, let's talk about stating the objectives. Okay. State the objectives. The marketing researcher should first establish the objectives of the research, which will be basis for research questions. So, syempre, ano ba yung gusto natin na, gusto natin na masolve? Which marketing problem should we actually solve? Okay, example niyan, class. Okay, ito yung magiging basis kasi natin ng mga questions natin, yung objective natin, right? So, examples niyan, where is the best location for my business? Okay, saan ba mating maganda ilagay yung uh, location ng business natin? That talks about distribution, placement, right? And some of potential research issues like yung ating research budget, size of the research project, and these objectives should be clear, concise, attainable, measurable, and quantifiable. So parang ano din siya smart, yung objectives natin, di ba? Katandaan nyo, lagi kailangan smart some objectives. It should be uh, specific, measurable, attainable, uh, reliable, and of course, time-bound, okay? Now, defining the objectives aids the researcher in designing a market research process. Helping or for avoid setting conflicting expectations and gathering irrelevant data. Okay, so di ba sa questionnaire dapat yung mga questions natin talagang related siya sa objectives. Hindi pwede yung may mata nung palang. Okay, kasi nga. Siyempre, yung, yung gagamitin kasi natin na data sa ating, ah, yung gagamit, yeah, yung data na gusto natin gamitin from our marketing research would be used for improving our business. Eh, ba't ka maglalagay ng question na wala namang relation sa objectives natin? So, dapat, again, kailangan lahat ng questions mo would have a, would have a connection with your objectives. Kaya ngayon yung una natin in the process, stating your objectives. Okay? 
So the second one class is determine the research methodology. Okay, determine the research methodology. The researcher should choose a combination of appropriate research methods to fulfill the research objectives. Okay, so we discuss natin yung mga research methodology under this process. Kailangan na makapili tayo ng combination kung ano bang method yung gusto natin na gamitin para sa ating mga research objectives. Okay, so i-discuss natin tatlo, the research methodology that may be adapted as to manner of gathering the data, okay, which is primary and secondary, methodology based on the type of information to be gathered, should it be quantitative or qualitative, and then also methodology based on the type type of study. Should it be exploratory, descriptive, or casual research? Okay, so una, pag-usapan muna natin yung primary and secondary. I'm pretty sure that you guys already have a, back, uh, a background of this one since this was also discussed during your research subject with Ma'am Dubai, right? So, like, ano lang natin siya, um, balikan lang natin siya. Okay, so methodology based on the manner of gathering data. Okay, so sabi natin, when we talk about primary research, this is wherein we gather original information directly through surveys, experiments, field tests, direct observations, focus group discussions, and even interviews. Meaning, um, tayo mismo yung kumukuha ng data na yan. Originally, galing siya sa mga surveys, so first-hand information, uh, galing ng experiment, field tests, even habang nagda-direct observation tayo, kanyari, uh, tumayo tayo dun sa isang business, ino-observe natin kung paano yung buyer behavior ng no, mga customers dun sa business, di ba? Uh, focus group discussion, uh, we sit down to our target market, uh, to a number of people, tapos may mga set of questions tayo na gustong itanong sa kanila, okay? And then even interviews, okay? Pag sinabi naman natin secondary research class, this is where in it uses previously published information. So, ano ba yung mga examples ng previously published information? So, yung mga materials on the internet, yung mga research natin. We also can use existing marketing research results, data from the company's top list, and customer databases, and also information from external organizations, kagaya ng mga industry bodies, saka mga government agencies. So, uh, that's the first one, uh, research methodology that you can use in the matter of gathering information. You can either do primary research or secondary research. Pero maganda kung both, di ba? You have up your primary research, plus may secondary research ka pa. Mas maraming data, mas maganda, di ba? Kasi that would actually help you uh, decide kung ano ba yung mga dapat natin gawin. Okay? So, methodology or research methodology may also be based on the type of information to be gathered. Okay? So it could uh, it could be quantitative research or qualitative. So balikan natin nung natin definition class pag sinabi natin quantitative. Okay? It involves numerical data kaya nga quanti, di ba? No may, may numerical data siya. So ano ba yung mga numerical data na pwedeng natin magather uh, in a marketing perspective? So yung customer return frequency Gano kadalas ba siyang bumili ng products and services natin? Sales figures. How much is our sales from last quarter? Okay, how much is our sales from the previous five years? And even financial trends. Okay, so this type of research can be used to understand the demographics of our customers, identify the size of the market, and even discover areas for sales growth. Maganda to kasi quantitative research siya. May number siya. May numerical data tayong tinitignan. Okay? On the other hand naman, pag sinabi natin qualitative research, di ba? Quality. Di ba? Kanina quantity, numerical. Pag sinabi naman natin qualitative, this mainly studies views and attitudes. Okay? In relation to the company's products and services. Okay, so, sa, paano natin kinukuha yan? Okay, saan natin kinukuha yung quality? Kasi ko kanina, numerical data, itong quality medyo tricky siya kasi nga, views and attitudes yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Views and attitudes towards the products and services. So, this may involve 
yung mga focus group discussions with our clients and even potential customers and reviews of competitors. Okay? Then, the next one class, syempre kung met yung methodology natin can be based on the manner of gathering information or in a manner of information to be gathered, pwede rin naman na sa type ng study. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin exploratory research, this involves reaching a better understanding of the research problem and identifying the variables to be measured. This can be done through trial studies, interviews, group discussions, and even experiments. So, kaya nga siya tinawag class na exploratory based from the root word explore. Diba? So, nag nagkakanda kaya ng uh, this research methodology, paano natin siya ginagawa, na nag-explore tayo. So, minsan, nagka-trial study tayo, we conduct interviews with mga clients natin, uh, kagaya din ng focus group discussion, uh, we sit down with, with our with a group of people na nasa respondents natin. Tapos, we also do experiments. Kunyari, mga social experiments. Yeah, mga ganyan. That's, that's what exploratory research is. Kaya nga siya tinawag na explore. Diba? Based from the root word. Okay? Then, the next type of study is descriptive research. Okay? So, ano naman ibig sabihin nito? This means that describes it describes marketing or marketing mix characteristics and the extent of association between variables. Before conducting this type of research, the researcher must already have a good understanding of the research problem through prior exploratory study. Ibig sabihin ng class, dapat si researcher uh, meron mo na siyang prior exploratory study before siya mag-descriptive research. Kasi when we do descriptive research, we are actually answering the questions um, what, how, when. Yeah, Pag-descriptive research siya. So example, uh, may, may primary data ka muna uh, na, na kumuha, gumawa ka ng, ng questionnaire so that you would be able to get a primary data. Tapos based from the results of those data, yun yung gagawan mo ngayon ng, uh, ng uh, conclusion mo. Okay? So, that's what descriptive research is all about. Okay? Now, paano naman pag sinabi natin casual research? Okay? Pag sinabi naman natin casual research class, uh, this investigates cause and effect relationships or why a change in one variable brings about a change in another. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na casual. Pinag-uusapan natin dito class yung cause and effect okay, ng isang variable to another variable. Paano nga ba uh, naa-apektuhan ng isang variable yung isang variable? Okay? So that's what uh, causal research is all about. Okay? Cause and effect relationship. Okay? Now class, the, tapos na tayo sa ating second Step. So, the first step, diba? state your objective. Second is determine the research methodology. The third one class is gather your data. Okay? Gather na tayo ng data. The researcher should collect data based on his or her chosen research method. He or she should ensure that the gathered information are detailed and complete to avoid misleading or irrelevant results. Uh, sabi ko nga, diba? Uh, kailangan. Ang question, questionnaire natin is really related sa objectives natin. Huwag tayo magkatanong ng questions na hindi siya connected sa objectives. Otherwise, yung data na makukuha natin is irrelevant sa study na kinakandak natin. Okay? Companies can also gather data through their marketing activities. So, paano ginagawa yan? Example, yung mga online surveys na included sa mga company websites so that they would be able to use customer feedback. Another example sa mga focus group discussions na pinapacilitate to consult selected customers regarding the effectiveness of a campaign material. Okay, kunyari, gano'n ba ka-effective yung commercial? Okay, kunyari, saan mo? Oh, paano, paano niyo po nalaman itong product na to? Na, sa commercial po ba? Nirecommend po ba sa inyo? Diba? Gathering data. Okay? Fourth, Class is interpreting the results. So, syempre, kapag meron ka ng data na nag-gather, 
uh, di mo naman itatago lang sa computer mo yan. Kailangan i-analyze mo yan. Interpret your results. Tingnan mo kung ano yung um, relationship from one variable to another. Di ba? Sabi natin, after collecting the data, as a researcher, you should be able or you should be now ready to interpret them. Ito yung pinaka-fun way. Ito yung pinaka-exciting na gawin. Di ba? Kasi ano kaya yung sasabihin ng result natin? Di ba? To select an appropriate statistical tools for quantitative data, the researcher must figure out how many samples are to be compared, whether these samples are related or unrelated to one another, and also the levels of data measurement. So, example niyan, yung mga frequency of items, ranking of items. Pag naman qualitative data, eh, the researcher can use tables, flowcharts, or perceptual maps to prove similar information, identify trends and themes, and take note of major points that are uncovered. Okay, dito, ito yung pinaka-exciting sa lahat ng steps, eh. Nag-interpret ka na ng results mo. Kasi, ah, syempre, matagal mag-gather ng data, di ba? Then, mga one to two weeks. Yeah. Bitin nyo nga yun sa Lego, example natin kanina, four years sila nag-conduct ng marketing research nila before they were able to come up with a solid interpreting interpretation of the results nila, di ba? So, ito na yung pinaka-exciting sa lahat. Okay? You are going to interpret your results. It should be emphasized that only data that corresponds to the company's needs should be interpreted to formulate relevant conclusions. Kasi, kapag nakapag-interpret ka na ng results mo, uh, from there, you will be able to identify kung ano ba yung dapat ba tayong mag- improve ng products or services natin? Should we remove a product? Should we remove a service? Diba? So, yan yung uh, gusto natin naman sa interpreting results. So, syempre, right after interpreting results, kunyara, nakapag, nakakita na tayo ng results. Ah, ito pala dapat. The next step okay, in the marketing research process is also presenting your results. Interpreted data can be presented in a textual report with graphs, charts, tables, and figures. There should be a comprehensive documentation of the entire research process so it can be helpful reference for the firm's future decision making. Okay, ito naman yung pwede kang mag-ano dito, pwede kang naman maging creative sa pagpapresent ng results mo. So, syempre, if you were able to come up with the results of your uh, if your data gathering, the next step is how are you going to make it presentable for those users? So remember, na ang mga users natin could be our investors, our customers, our uh, mga managers natin, di ba? Kasi meron tayong internal users at external users. Okay? So yung mga manager natin. So we have to present that result sa mga decision makers. Kaya dapat, uh, yung reports, you know, na ipepresent sa kanila uh, only says what is needed to be seen. Okay? So, dapat ipapakita natin kung ano ba yung dapat na makita. Okay? Emphasize kung emphasize yung mga important data na kailangan nilang malaman. And then, emphasize din kung ano ba yung mga actions na dapat natin gawin para um, ma-achieve natin yung gusto natin ma-achieve. Okay? So, once again, class, let's take a recap. Okay, let's take a recap on the things that we were able to discuss for this module. So, we were able to define what marketing research is, right? So, marketing research is the systematic and objective search for an analysis of information relevant to the identification and solution of any problem in the field of marketing. Then we were able to talk about the importance of marketing research, right? We discussed four. And then also identify the steps in marketing research, okay, which is statement of the objective, determining the research methodology, gathering your data, and interpreting the results and presenting the results. So that's pretty much everything for our marketing research class. Thank you so much for listening. And then I'll see you guys in our synchronous session. Bye.